There are two interesting examples of lack of open standards that happened recently, and I'd like to, you're probably familiar with them. I'll just go over it quickly. First of all, in the aftermath of last year's Hurricane Katrina in the United States, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, known as FEMA, established an internet site for victims of the hurricane to register for aid. Unfortunately, not everyone was able to access that over the internet because of incompatibility problems. Those using the Linux operating system, some using a Macintosh, or really anyone that was using the Firefox browser was unable to register for aid online. So there was interoperability at the physical layer, there was interoperability at the network layer and the transport layer and the session layer, but there was an incompatibility of applications at the um, application layer which prevented exchange of information over the internet for these uh, hurricane victims. Fortunately, you could still register over the telephone, so there was a mechanism, but there was a denial of access due to applications. And another surprising example of government impeded in serving its citizens because of this kind of incompatibility, specifically between standards, involved the government of Thailand exchanging electronic documents after the tsunami. Some information could not be exchanged because they used throughout go different government agencies different document formats. So this situation contributed to the government launching an open standards initiative so that this would never happen again. And more personally, I just a couple of weeks ago received a document from someone from the United States government and I was unable to open it because they still use WordPerfect. So there's a lot of incompatibility with applications sent over the internet. So there's reason to be concerned about open standards, I believe, and it's an, it's an entirely another issue to define what open standards are.